Hey guys, welcome to my notes on the women's, uh, U.S. women's uh, podium training from last night. First of all, I have to say that I am so much more excited than I was just a day ago. Because to sum it up in one word, our girls are so solid. And I just think that they have, have done such a good job at preparing to be here at, at these Olympic Games. First of all, for any of you who aren't able to see the NBC stream, you weren't able to see it live, or you can't see it archived because you're not in America, I really recommend you to go ahead and check out gymnast.com because there's a lot of coverage, um, inside kind of, inside scoop kind of coverage, and I just always recommend them because um, they have a lot of uh, just more interesting type things than you see on normal news uh, networks. And especially for someone who hasn't got to see it, Steve McCain um, actually goes through and tells you everything that happened. So that's a great resource for people who haven't got to see it. But I just want to go over some of my thoughts and opinions. First of all, there's going to be so many varying thoughts on the pink leotards that the U.S. women came out with last night. I already read where some people are like, they're horrible, they look retarded. But I love it. I loved it. I was freaking out whenever I first saw them because I can tend to be like really girly and I think that our girls can too. So I think that really what the pink leotard shows is just their girly side and more of their personality rather than our country's personality. However, if you think about it, the American girl, I mean, maybe not everyone wants to be described as pink and girly, but I truly think that that's honestly a really American thing. So people can hate on it if they want to, but I think I think they looked beautiful. Like, they just looked, they had pink little eyeshadow, and obviously Nastia looks good in a pink leotard. She's worn it before, but I thought Sam Peshek looked, like, so fresh, and that pink really made that stand out so um, I thought they all looked awesome They're, it was definitely a statement and I think they they knew that too because I mentioned in my last video about the Chinese women how they seemed really happy and confident and like they were just ready to tear the house down well I feel like the US women came in there with their awesome Leos and just the confidence that that had for them they were just bubbly and like excited you could tell all of them were just so happy to be where they were I did notice though that um, because Chelsea is didn't train um, vault floor or beam um, when they first came out and they were all going on the floor just doing tumbling runs she was still in her uh, blue jacket and her sweatpants and you could just see this look of you know sadness on her face and you could just tell that she wasn't doing what she came there to do and so that made me really feel bad for her although she had a really great team spirit because she just kept coaching along the girls and just encouraging them with Marta and um, all the other coaches she definitely did, didn't just sit there you know same thing with Alicia in the bar when they were practicing bars you know she was doing the same type thing and I just appreciate how they're taking that team leader position, you know, the, being older, realizing that it is what it is and they just go go for it anyway. So it has been confirmed that Chelsea will only be competing bars at the games. I think that um, is not going to be too much of, of a problem for Team USA. Um, they're going to be able to handle that, but it probably has, um, you know, damaged her chances at being one of the two U.S. girls for the all-around. No matter what, her comeback and her spirit has been such an encouragement and an inspiration, and I hope that she knows that. So while they were still on floor, I noticed that Sean uh, took a bit extra time um, that she had her music played again, and you could just tell that if she, something wasn't right, she wanted to go back and, and make the last time she did it right. And so I don't know if she was just feeling kind of um, nervous about, you know, the new floor routine and all of that, but she was definitely still looking really good. Another thing I noticed while the girls were uh, warming up vaults is someone else is using Dasha's music. It must be really popular. That I, it's like some 
tango thing or something. But there was seriously another girl using the same music, and it sounded a lot actually like Maddie Larson's cut. So I don't. I know, so wish, wish I could know what Dasha thinks about it because, I mean, it's not like you have exclusive rights to the music, but still, it becomes yours. Okay, also during Vault, um, did anyone else see that weird, like, morph thing that, I guess the camera, or like the, the video, had gone back to when the Romanians, the, you know, training session before, were doing Vault. It was like a morph between Stelion and Nistor and another one of the Romanian girls. They're like running down and then they, I don't know, it's just like they morphed into each other and it was weird. <laughs> I don't know, I was just wondering if anybody else saw that because I was like, what the crap is going on? And it just made me laugh, kind of. Okay, and then also towards the end of their um, vault time, one of the camera guys starts flirting with Chelsea. And I say flirting because I just thought he sounded like, hey, I'm going to try to get something out of you. So I'll like, make you laugh and, and talk about stuff that really doesn't matter, like how pretty your toes look. It just kind of made me laugh because I mean, Chelsea was entertaining him and I mean she was talking to him but you could tell at one point she was kind of like I don't want to talk to you anymore <laughs> and then I just thought he sounded kind of like a prick because he was like saying to Chow oh why the long face you need to smile more and I was just like just because you can speak English doesn't mean that you can just converse with our athletes and I think I could tell that Marta really didn't appreciate it because she actually remarked something like, he's not got a long face, he's just focusing. And I just thought it was funny. So on to the girls when they are at the bars. Um, they all looked really good. Uh, Bridget was having a bit of trouble on her dismount, but I think she you know, cleared that up by the end. And then Nastia is looking just slightly better on her dismount as well. So I'm really hoping that um, within the next few days and just by the time of the competition, it turns out to be, you know, awesome. When they got to Beam, I was really happy to see Sean stick her dismount on Beam because I haven't seen that in a while. And even though Nastia was having a bit of trouble on her side, Sami, she still, she cleared it up by the end. And um, I think she'll be, you know, set on that too, so... Overall, they really did look amazing, and I'm more excited than I thought I would be. And this whole thing about the Han brothers, I have no idea what to think of it, but, you know, it's cool that both Raj and Sasha are getting a chance to become uh, Olympians. I just hope that they capitalize on that, and they give it their all, and they don't hold back, and, you know, I'm really looking forward to seeing what the men's team can do. So, that's it for now, guys. I may try to do some vlogging throughout the games, but mostly I'm just going to be watching and appreciating the gymnastics, so I hope that you do as well. But definitely feel free to talk to me, comment, or message, and tell me what you're thinking, you know, um, what happens throughout the games. Uh, we're all going to have a great time just uh, enjoying the sport that we all uh, love, so um, happy watching!